you know, when you feel like a big fat phony because you're trying to be one thing when you're really something else and just how terrible you are as a person. That's how it makes you feel inside when you realize that. Does that make sense? Clear as a bell. You know, eventually get over it. But it sure took me a long, long time. And everybody tends to exploit that fragility, you know, and it makes you feel even worse about yourself. Oh, boy, and I'm probably making you feel worse about Gina. Doc, that's not what I meant to do. I, I don't want you to have an excuse here to beat yourself up over this. I'm just telling you this because you can make it better. It's a very easy fix. All you have to do is be nice to Gina. Nice. You're a nice person. You can do it. Thank you. Excuse me. <clears throat> Kevin Collins. Hi, Mac. Uh, n no, at least I don't think so. Hold on. Did Felicia call here while I was out? No. No, Mac, she hasn't called. Oh, no, don't tell me that. Felicia has left town with Tom, which means that she's left Mac's jurisdiction. I can't believe that she put herself in danger just to prove a point. What would be that point? That she trusts Tom, that she doesn't believe he's the stalker. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You don't believe he's a stalker either, right? I mean, isn't that what you just said? So what's wrong with that? We don't know who it is. Whoever it is could still be out there. He could be trailing Felicia right now. And since she so obligingly removed herself from the people that can protect her, what is that woman using for brains? Oh, you know, to me, Doc, it's pretty obvious. She loves Tom. They have just been through a horrific experience. She let Mac convince her that Tom was the stalker enough to hold a gun on him. She must be... Absolutely mortified. Don't you get it? A, she's got to make it up to Tom somehow. And B, she's got to rid herself of any lingering debt she has. Well, she could have done that right here in Port Charles. Maybe, but she didn't. She left. And I have a little news flash for you and Mac. She's an adult. She's a grown woman. She has freedom of choice. And if she chooses to go out of town with her lover, it's a simple choice. She gets to go. Doc, Tom is perfectly capable of protecting her just as much as you and Mac are. And I think he can pick up the phone if he needs help. I'm getting on your nerves, yes, aren't I? Yes, you know, <laughs> to tell you the truth, you are. I'm just so frustrated. I hate watching you carrying the whole weight of the world on those shoulders. Doc, let Mac handle Felicia. You do what you do best. Aye, aye, Cotton. <laughs> and for the moment, I have a class to teach. So what does your day look like? I have the ever-exciting photo shoot with Brenda. Uh -huh. So if you need me, I will be there, okay? Just call. All right. I'll see you. Good day. Thanks, you too. Oh, Gina, be nice to her. Scout's on her. Okay. Now, as the term implies, self-victims are their very own worst enemy. Usually, their low self-esteem will lead them to the inevitable conclusion that they're not worthy. They're not worthy of love. They're not worthy of success or even friendship. If someone were to criticize them, they would assume that the person is right, no matter what the reality of the situation. Now, how do you spot a self-victim? I don't think you can. Not by looking. Um... On the surface, the self-victims appear to be the same as anyone else, and they're often as skilled at what they do as anyone around them. Good. Very good. But if that's true, what keeps them from succeeding? Terry? Oh, self-perception. I mean, they feel they can't measure up to society standards when the only standards they can't meet are their own. Very good. Then, um... How, uh, how, uh, forgive me, I seem to have lost my train of thought. <clears throat> um, how, uh, how does a self-victim, damn it, would anyone like to tell me where Gina is when I need her? <clears throat> Dr. Collins? What? If I may, you send her back to the classroom for a book. I know that. 
question is, how long does it take her to do it? For all I know, she may have decided to play hooky and go have lunch. Or she's gone shopping at her favorite mall. Well, Miss Williams, thank you so much for deciding to grace us with your presence today. That one you were looking for, Dr. Collins, it's right on top. I, I thought that would work best, you know, so being able to see the, the lesson plan for today as soon as you open the book. But, I, you know, I suppose maybe it would be better in, in the back. Or, or, or the date could go on the top instead of on the bottom. I, I could put the headings in boldface if that would be better. I, I could revamp the whole thing tonight and get it to you by early next week. Thank you, Jean. Thank you very much. Thank you for providing us with a classic example of self-victimization and demonstrated much more vividly than I could ever explain. You see, class, Gina didn't do anything wrong. She doesn't deserve to be attacked. But does she have the guts, does she have the backbone to stand up for herself? No. What she does instead is apologize. She accepts the blame. She embraces the blame as if it fulfills some vital function for her. Why? Because she's a self-victim. And what have we learned today? Self-victims feel unworthy. Self-victims know they're guilty of far worse things than screwing up a teacher's notebook. They know they're guilty of things that they have never been properly punished for. And that's why self-victims encourage belittlement. They believe it's merited. <laughs> and who the heck are we to argue? All right, let's move on from self-victims to the idiots who love them. What? Doesn't anyone have a sense of humor here? I have to get to class. Dr. Collins, this is Terry from psych class. I haven't been able to get the look on Gina's face out of my mind. You were way too hard on her today. Dr. Collins, this is Terry from psych class. I haven't been able to get the look on Gina's face out of my mind. You were way too hard on her today. Well, you know how I have a tendency to shut the world out when I'm painting? But I promise you, I won't pull so far inward, I won't wander outside and play in the traffic. I did it again, huh? The old mother hen strikes again, sorry. You can mother me any time. Oh, I really, really don't mean to hover. I don't know why I do it. It's not even like me. It, it's just, I want to know you're okay. I need to know, and I'm... Really worried about you. I love you. So, is this uh, your latest endeavor? Can I take a peek? Mm -hmm. Oh wow! It's different. It's 
Well, from Madonna and child to house. And what? I'm not sure. It just appeared there this morning. I had that dream again. Do you remember it? Yes, I do. Doc, tell me. 